Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to an episode of American Truck Simulator. And today, currently, we are in Barstow, California. But we're going to go to the coastline uh, mining uh, plant and pick up a load headed to Phoenix, Arizona. Um, the, the pickup point is about 24 miles away, a 36 minute drive. Um, it shouldn't be too long until we're there. We just need to go down the freeway and we'll be there. And, you guys will be proud of me, I did install those mods that I've been wanting to. I've installed the uh, invisible barriers so that way we can't see uh, the big X's across the barriers. Those are annoying. And then I've also what was another one I installed? I installed a traffic mod. Um, can't remember the mod. I'll leave a link to it in the, dis the description. And then... No, I think those are the only two I've installed. Pretty much. Um, I will get to updating you guys about my life as soon as we're on the road with our delivery. There's really not much to tell you guys right now. And I guess I could start. Yeah, I won't hurt to start, I guess. I did just get off of work, so I am tired. But I need to get a video out. I didn't get one out today, <clears throat> just because, again, I have a busy week. And I really haven't had time to record videos or edit them. Merge onto the freeway safely. You're clear. So I received some uh, good feedback on my uh, recent ETS2 video on how I did that with uh, storytelling, and that uh, feedback was given to me by my girlfriend. She said she liked that and that it was more interesting. So I am going to be doing more of that, uh, more telling you guys about my life as I drive through the roads of the USA and in Europe. So I'm going to do that. I've never really shared my life story with many people. But I'm willing to do it for YouTube channels. And how am I speeding? Okay, whatever. Where's a cop? Where was the cop that could have caught me speeding? I have no idea. Up this hill. Alright, so here we are, our pickup point. Coastline mining, the this depot. Depot, depot. I think it's depot. All right, so we are gonna be hauling the silica to Phoenix, Arizona. Silica? I think that's how you say it. I don't know exactly what silica is, so if someone can inform me on that, that'd be great. Um, let's do. Let's just do this regular sliding trap trailer. Not many options because we are in a. Uh, California. California has a whole lot of restrictions on their trailer types, which is stupid. All right, open up scale. Knock down. Where's our trailer at? Right there. There's our silica. Uh, 
looks like we're lined up. Let's check the other side. Alright, here we are. Shut off the engine, parking brake on. And let's attach the trailer. Alright, it all looks good. Let's go and get to the road and headed to Phoenix, Arizona. We are dropping this off at the airport, the Phoenix airport uh, known to Phoenix residents as the Sky Harbor Airport. How do I get out of here? I'm gonna back up because I'm going the wrong way. This is a really tight spot. Apparently I cannot make that. <clears throat> Joke's on you. I can't make that turn. What is up? Am I stuck? Oh, <laughs> I was in reverse. That's funny. Okay, as we get on the scale, let's make sure a trailer doesn't get caught, because that hap has happened to me way too many times. But I do want to get your guys' opinion on something. Do you like it when I show the drive to the picket points? Or would you rather me cut that out for shorter videos? Um, let me know in the uh, comments, please. Because I'd like to know if you guys like seeing me uh, do the... What's the word? Belly hop? I think the word's belly hop. I can't even remember the word. Wow, I'm ashamed of myself. But if you guys like to see me, uh, let's not get out into the highway. Actually, I'm gonna turn on my wipers with how hard I brake. Uh, if you guys like to see me uh, belly hop over, I don't think belly hop's the right word. I know the word. What's the word? I'll think of it by the end of the video. But let me know if you'd like to, to see me go to the pickup points or if you'd just like to see the delivery runs for shorter videos. Let me know. There's a lot of traffic on this road. Why do I have to turn left? This is annoying. So anyways, uh, what's new with me is I spent $90 almost on clothes. Oh, please don't back up on me. Uh, please don't. No, I'm not here might just force myself out. I don't know. But yeah, I spent almost $90 on clothes the other day. And I was not planning on spending that much, but it, according to my girlfriend, I looked really good in them. So uh, I guess it was worth it. This is bad traffic. This is really bad. Why are they slowing down? <laughs> because the lane merges up there. They're like, let me through, let me through. Come on, haven't you guys ever heard of a zipper merge? The most effective way of merging? I'm gonna, like, force my way in there. Because I'm already past the line. The line's right there. Mine's back there, actually. I've already passed the, the line. <sighs> this is bad traffic. Holy cow. I don't like this at all. <sighs> so yeah, I bought those clothes. Um, I bought some sweats, some work clothes, some jeans. I like the jeans. The jeans are nice. 
haven't gotten myself a new pair of jeans in a while, so I like them. And I like to force my way in. There's no traffic on, coming from the. Okay, except for that bus. There's no traffic coming from the other side. Sorry, people, but I need it to get through. I was not gonna wait there forever. That is a long line. I was not gonna wait there forever. <clears throat> Forced my way through the traffic. I mean, real life people would have stopped before the intersection to let people go through in traffic like that. In real life. But. This isn't real life. IRL. Alright, so we're taking South Interstate 15 to the I-10. So I bought a printer. It's, uh, I bought it from a Sabres, so I have no idea if it's going to work. Uh, I found all the cords for it at Sabres. I paid about a total of $10 for the printer. Now... I need to buy myself some ink for the printer to test to see if it works. Um, we plugged it in, tested it, and the printer turns on. That's all we know. We have no idea if the printer prints anything or not. But we'll have to see. And then also, look forward to uh, some airplane simulator videos, because I did find a Logitech here. Hold on, let me pull that up to see what it looks, what it's called. A Logitech X3D, Extreme 3D Pro, uh, Airplane simulator droid stick for at at Savers at a thrift store for four bucks and that was a steal pretty much. So I'm gonna buy the airplane simulator game. We're gonna give it a test, see how it works. Alright, we are in a hill coming up into a steep hill, so let's turn on our four-way flashers. A downshift to eight to slow down because the speed limit did decrease for us. Back down to 8th again. I hate hills like this. Trucks this lane only. Oh, I forgot to adjust the mirrors. Again. So I will do that before next video. It's gonna become just like the mods. You. Just like the mods. But yeah, look forward to a. Uh, oh, excuse me. Now look forward to airplane simulator videos. I can't wait to try out that Logitech. It was four dollars. It was pretty much a steal. I'm like, I was really surprised that I found it there. All right, I can go ahead and shift to nine. We're about to go ninth about to go down the hill, so again, we do want that lower gear, not to uh, make it so our truck runs away. Shift to ninth, and it wasn't that steep of a hill. Well, I want to say the steepest hill in the game is along Interstate 80 right now. California, just just before Truckee. Uh, we will experience that hill eventually. I will show it to you guys. Wait, I want to say never mind. Alright, let's check break down this hill. What is silica? I don't know, that's still on my mind. Like, what is silica? You know? Just like uh, the liver paste from my ETS2 video. Alright, we're heading east towards Phoenix, Arizona. Continue on to the Interstate 10 right here. Um, it's a funny story, I actually started recording this. 
uh, same load, same everything, and I got to uh, Ehrenberg, Arizona, so about 100 miles east from here. And I realized that I didn't turn on the audio recording, so I had to restart it. So this is a uh, uh, Act One, Scene Two, Take like Two, or however it works. <laughs> however they do that in the movie industry. Uh, take Two. That's a that's what it's called. say something. I don't remember. Honestly, right now, my mind is completely blank. Like, there's literally nothing for me to talk about. Like, I don't even know what to say. I got 9 subscribers, which is, I'm really glad for that. I'm almost to 10. Once I hit 10, I will do a special video. I know. A lot of people, or a lot of YouTube channels, have a lot more than 10. But, um, 10 is a lot for me. I never actually thought I'd ever hit 10 subscribers. So I will uh, do a special video for 10, and then I'll probably do another one for 25, and then do one for 50. And then as things get better, a hundred, five hundred, a thousand, you know, you know how it goes. So, uh, <clears throat> please help support this channel by sharing it with your family and friends. It would really mean a lot to me. And I know, uh, I know I am kind of bad at recording sometimes. I'm still getting used to this as well. So, thanks for s sticking with me. Okay, what's this slow traffic doing? How many pounds of silica are we hauling? 35,000 pounds. We need to be there by 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. tomorrow, pretty much. Uh, we have six hours, so we need to sleep. We are four hours away, so we won't need a seat this run. We might need to stop and get gas, though. Gas is important. Um, look forward to a uh, Farming Simulator 17 video, uh, music video. Okay, okay, why are you sending me on your brakes, dude? That was not smart. You merged into my lane and just slammed on your brakes. You're an idiot. Now I'm struggling with my gears here. Going 30 miles per hour on the interstate because of it. Um, I swear I have the worst luck when it comes to this game and recording. Um, the game crashed on me. Um, it put us back at, um, about a hundred feet or so, M maybe even less, I don't know. But, so I pulled off to the side, fixed the mirrors, um, the game crashed because it said my graphics card was uninstalled. I don't know why. So it took me about 20 minutes to fix that. So I'm back here, but I pulled off to the side just because I didn't want to be blocking traffic. So we're going to have to merge back onto the interstate. Let's wait for traffic to clear. So I can lock us on. But I swear I have the worst luck when it comes to this game. Like I have no problems when uh, I'm not recording. But when I record, that's when things happen. Just this game. ETS2 does not have this problem. I haven't had that problem. Except for one video and I think that was a... Uh, my trip to Hanover video. But this one, I like every video I do, the game crashes. Every single one. I don't know what's up with it. It's 
really frustrating. But yeah, it said my graphics card was uninstalled and the game wasn't able to display the graphics, so it just closed down. And so I had a, I spent about 20 minutes uh, figuring out the problem because I tr tried just relaunching the game and the same error came up. So I had to uninstall and reinstall my graphics card. It was kind of complicated. I spent about 20 minutes crying over it. Not crying, I wasn't really crying, just being frustrated and yelling at my stupid computer. Like, why can't you be smart? But, it is what it is. Always happens though. I guarantee you, next American Truck Sim video I do, it's gonna do it again. And fun fact, even my uh, American Truck Simulator music videos, when I'm recording, the game crashes on me. You guys just don't see it. But it happens, every time, without fail. I think it might be uh, OBS. I might need to fix some settings in OBS for it. Because I can't keep doing this. It's really frustrating. There's a nice little rest stop here. Too bad we don't need to stop. Air speeding. Let's set cruise control at 55 miles per hour because that is the speed limit. I hate California truck speed limits. But we are almost into Arizona. Almost, I think. I think we have about 100 miles to go. No, no merge. That bus could suffer. Alright, so... I'm hoping... I won't have any problems with the game. Anymore. I will tweak some OBS settings before my next recording and see if it works. But we'll have to go from there. Am I all? All? Wow. I can talk. I also adjusted the mirror on the right side, right hood side. Um, I tried adjusting the one on the left side, but could not get it right, so I'll do that later. As you can see, I can see the road. Which you probably look at the road instead of my mirror. As you can see, you can see the road a whole lot better with the mirror now. You can see oncoming traffic. And with the left hood mirror, it's a little better. As you can see, you can kind of see the oncoming traffic. <sighs> what else did I do uh, during that? unfortunate event that occurred. Well, the entire time I was hoping it saved uh, where we were at, it just, I think it just put us back about 100 feet or so. So it wasn't that big of a deal. It saved most of our progress. But I was worried that it would like, put me back all the way to uh, Barstow. That would have been frustrating. I tell you. <clears throat> if it did that, I might have just restarted the recording. Since it just put us almost exactly where we were, I figured just just go with it. What is that? What was that build? I oh, know I can't see. No, let's look at the road. Not the billboard. They're there to distract you. I swear. a nice sunset in the mirror with the clouds. It's pretty nice. So I am working on figuring out uh, GTA 5. I, I do want to do some 5, 5M videos. Um, so if anyone knows anyone who wants to do some collabs, let me know please. Um, I'm still trying to figure out 5M. Uh, I'm not really great with multiplayer games. I prefer single player games. As you guys can clearly tell, Brawlhalla is like the only multiplayer game that I play. I feel like I mentioned that in a different video. Well, it doesn't matter. I have to talk about it again. No one's stopping me.
Yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know, 5M is the a uh, uh, modded uh, GTA 5 online mode. It's not officially supported by uh, Rockstar Games. I think that's the company that makes GTA 5. But I do want to do those videos. I bought Brick Bricks. So look forward to Brick Bricks videos. Oh, we're entering Arizona right here. Uh, welcome to Arizona, guys. Well, here's the Colorado River. Pretty nice, pretty beautiful. I've actually crossed this bridge in real life as I travel to California every now and again. Here's Ehrenberg, Arizona. Just a small town in Arizona with the truck stop. And let's go and get gas here. I'm just stopping to get gas. Also, something I discovered is my uh, pedals, on the bottom of it, it has this little spiky, grippy thingy that I did not know was there until I went to uh, watch my girlfriend's dogs for a weekend. I'm like, oh, what's that? And it seems to uh, give it grip on the carpet, which it's been working for me because my pedals aren't sliding anymore. Let's shut off the engine and start filling up with gas. I'm still thinking on a place to uh, take the thumbnail. I'm thinking uh, just exiting the bridge, in, or not bridge, the tunnel in Phoenix, the uh, park deck tunnel in Phoenix. So I'm thinking about doing that. This is gonna be late, so let's uh, flip on our headlights. So we do have Aaron Bird dis uh, discovered. It's one of the main reasons why have to get gas here is to discover the city as well. I don't think we would have discovered it just driving by. Oof. Oh no, that's the truck it's just park parked there for. I don't think that's a parking space, buddy. No, don't want to grind the gear, so I'm trying to find the gear. I'm still no news on uh, what SES's uh, plan is to do next with either an update or with uh, DLC. So, no news with that yet. That truck just right by me. Oh, it looks like we have to pull in for a way station. I think we are in regu regulations. Um, actually, Fun little note. I do want to work on a mod that uh, makes fees or fines for uh, trailer weights. So if you accidentally take a 53 foot trailer into California and you stop at a uh, way station, you will get fined for that. I am actually trying to figure that out, and so I will make that a public free mod once I figure it out. Alright, so our gross weight is 69,000 pounds. And 69,396 pounds. Have a safe trip. Alright. No inspections for us today. One thing that they do the, in this game that does need a little more rework on is the way stations. The way stations do need to be reworked. I don't like how they have it set up because it is not realistic at all. Because you just go, you go, you get weighed, and you drive. I like how they added the easy pass. That's nice. Uh, but the problem is I can't turn off the way station notifications without turning off all the other notifications. Which is annoying. <laughs> However, one thing that I do think they should add is, like I said before, that mod that I'm working on. If they add that, then I won't have to make the mod. But also, random inspections, make sure your truck's in good condition. Such as if I'm at, let's say, 50% damage, uh, 
I can find if I go through waste station. Just making sure our trucks are in uh, healthy working condition. That's something I think they should work on. Okay, what's with this traffic right here? Whoa! <laughs> I just completely caused that car to flip up right there. <laughs> that did not give me a uh, car crash violation, which is good. Well, not good because I did get into a wreck. But, uh. Good as in I didn't have to pay any fines for it. Just give me a little bit of damage. I hope that mm, person in that van's alright. <laughs> I tried stopping in time, I swear. I'm gonna pull behind this truck. Right here. Now I get it. <laughs> I hit the. I barely hit your trailer. Try forward, you idiot. Yes, I know you just got in a wreck, but I've already paid the fine, so just drive off. What are you honking at? Dude. <laughs> They're stopped up there, too. Is that another wreck? Wrecks galore. You know, I have an idea. I know this is illegal, but we need to make this delivery. There's someone behind me. Oh, and there's our yawn. I might as well stop to get some sleep at a rest stop. Because we do have time. Okay, I know that's illegal. <laughs> I need to get around because we have delivery. What happened here? I feel like I, I messed everything up. I feel like I caused... He's in both lanes. I don't know what is going on? The traffic is dumb today. So am I. I caused a car wreck. Uh, caused a SUV to uh, go on top of the van. Not intend for that to happen, though. It's gonna merge over here no traffic because it's all back there because I caused a wreck. <sighs> Two wrecks, technically. <sighs> yeah, so next rest stop, I'm going to stop there because the yawning is annoying. Oh, looks like my lane's closed ahead. There's another wreck on the freeway. Ooh, that's a pretty nasty one. Mm, feel bad for that person. That's not good. That did not look good at all. There's a rest area, so let's go ahead and pull into here. And we're gonna go to sleep for the night. Truck parking straight ahead. <sighs> Alright, let's park right next to this truck right here. No, you know what? Right here. Right in between the two. Is, am I in? Yeah, I'm in. Alright. Turn off the engine, put the parking brake on, and looks like I don't have a bed. Looks like I'm sleeping in this uncomfortable chair for the night. How wonderful is that? The next truck's gonna have a bed, I swear. Alright. Good night. Good morning, everyone.
Um, I did not sleep well, uh, knowing that I slept on just my driver's seat. That was not a comfy night for me. Uh, let's go and do our pre-trip inspection. Everything looks good. Trailer tires look inflated. I did accidentally leave my lights on while I was sleeping, so let's hope the battery's not dead. And let's hop into our truck. Okay, battery's fine. Uh, air pressure's fine. Everything's good to go. We're good on gas. And our delivery, we need to be there in three hours. And we are about two hours out. Alright, two hours. Oh, we're an hour and a half out. We need to be there by uh, 12.30. So we have time. We are good on time. Last thing I want is for that annoying music to turn on saying I'm running late. I'll either not get a good comfy night's rest in that uh in my uh, driver's seat. I did try sleeping in that seat, it did not work. So uh, we're gonna save up for a sleeper truck. Uh, we're gonna make it a Peterbilt. That's what we'll do. The second we make enough money, we'll buy a Peterbilt and a trailer. That is our game plan. That's what we're saving up for. Let's go and turn off the lights. The sun's coming up. Ooh, there's a hot air balloon over there. So actually, you see hot air balloons in the Phoenix area a lot. I mentioned that earlier, I think, that I live in Phoenix. So, um, don't hunt me down, please. Phoenix area is nice. I would really, really recommend visiting at one point. It's not all desert, I swear. Well, it's in the middle of the desert, but there's lots to do. Arizona's not just desert. There's Flagstaff, which is a uh, foresty area. It's really nice. Give Arizona a try. And here we are entering the suburbs of uh, Phoenix, uh, passing Loop 303, which actually they got this interchange wrong. That's supposed to be a huge overpass interchange, but it, they didn't do that. That's one, the one thing I'm disappointed about is that interchange right there. And here's the Agua Fria River. We are just about to pass. Nice dried up riverbed in Phoenix. This thing uh, fills up when it rains a lot, like during monsoon season. It is flowing water for at least for about a day and then it dries up again. <laughs> That's it. Alright. Um, I don't know which road this exit is supposed to be representing. Um, I want to say it's 67th Avenue in real life is what this road is representing, but I'm not too entirely sure. Eventually I'll figure it out. I did at one point make a mod that edited the signs in Phoenix, uh, and then they fixed them, so that's fine. This is the Interstate 17 interchange, however going south it's Highway or State Route 87, 89. No, State Route 85. Arizona State Route 85. And... No, which is wrong. 85 is past the 303. That's another thing that I wish wish they would fix, but they probably won't ever. So, I deal with it. And I am going to take a picture inside the tunnel. I figured it out with this traffic. So, give me one second. I am getting a lot quicker at taking these thumbnails. That took me about 40 seconds. So, that was really quick. Well, here's the Loop 202 and Arizona State 51 interchange. 
Actually, they made it to 60, but in real life, that's loop 202. Then here's our exit for uh, Sky Harbor, the airport in Phoenix, Arizona, right here. And this exit is portraying Buckeye Road. I'm just giving you guys a huge tour of Phoenix. Okay, okay, okay. You don't need to slam on your brakes as you're getting off the freeway, dude. There is plenty of time for you to stop. I should not have to swerve into the shoulder to stop. <sighs> this traffic. Sometimes I think downloading that traffic mod was a mistake. Because this is what the traffic acts like. trailer, I don't want to clip anyone in that left turn lane. Let's not hit this bus either, because that'll be nice. <laughs> As you see, my trailer is uh, taking up both lanes. That's technically how a trucker is supposed to do it, that way no one can squeeze in between them. So, I am within all legality to do that. Another thing I don't like, and I feel like I'm criticizing Phoenix, but I'm really not, I really like how they portrayed it, is uh, the speed limits. I feel like they could have made it a little more accurate in the speed limits. But I really do like how they portrayed it. There's just a few things I wish they would fix. Now in my personal profile, this intersection is always a difficult intersection, so let's see if it's the same here. Still following that bus around. I got a text. Um, I might have to pause the video. Turn down the volume. I might have to stop my recording, take a break, I don't want to, but I'm going to have to. I'll be right back, guys. Give me one second. I am back. Um, I had about a 15-minute phone call with my girlfriend. She just got off of work, so I always talk to her as she drives home. Uh, we're still in this traffic. It looks like this bus is able to go. I had the game paused the entire time, so nothing changed. I can't wait till I can get track IR for this game. That'd be great. See, you can see with the trees there. <laughs> this is really bad traffic. I might have to use the chicken lane. It's coming from both directions too. And the traffic is kind of glitching out on me. I don't know if you guys see that, but it's doing it on my screen. Sometimes uh, when my game lags, it doesn't uh, reflect in the recording, which is good. But I'm, I always apologize for it. But... No, there it is again. I don't think it's going to reflect in the recording, though. Sometimes it does. Okay, where are all these cars coming from? That side's clear. Okay, not now. Don't do this now. Don't do this now. Really? I, I must have known I've been waiting for a while. Because in real life, that would not happen. Not 
put any cars that I'm turning into here. That's a nice cop car. Phoenix Police. One cool thing about Arizona is SES has made a municipal uh, police departments for Arizona. I have not seen it in any other states, which is really cool. I really like that. There's Kingman, Phoenix, the state troopers. Uh, I haven't seen any others yet, but they have been adding them, which I really like. That's really cool. Only to the police departments, uh, not to any of the uh, fire departments or uh, first responders. And I guess here's the drop off at the airport. Uh, kind of made an awkward stop there, sorry about that. I have a cord in my way on my toe, but and my foot, and my clutch pedal. It's getting annoying, it was not there when it first started. Alright, let's choose our drop off. Okay, we have right there for 40 XP. Let's turn on our four ways. And let's see how quickly I can drop this off. Uh, we do have a lot of room in this drop off, so it shouldn't be too difficult. It's one of the easier drop offs because it's 40 XP instead of 90. Slow it down. Oh. It is in between two trailers though, which is tough. Tough to do. Alright, so let's go ahead and get out and look, see how well we're lined up. Okay, I just need to pull forward just a little bit more. Alright, now let's see. Alright, looks like we just might be lined up. Uh, I'm gonna look out to here as we start the initial backup. I do need to watch that side because there's stuff on that side. I don't want to hit anything. Uh, looks like I'm going to hit that 21 foot trailer. So let's curve this way. Pull forward again. And take two. See how many takes it will take to get this done. Alright, look at that side, looking good. Let's bring it around. Well, now I feel like we're going towards the other 20 foot, 21 foot trailer. Well, let's try to correct this, which doesn't look like it wants to listen. So let's bring it forward again. Got to reset it. And we're at take three. Look at that traffic. That's the road we were just on. That's the traffic. It's bad. Oh, there's some planes over there. I think we're at Terminal 2, is where we're at. Okay, I think we got it this time. Right. Yep, this looks good. This might be one of my quickest backing in. Let's not jinx it too soon. I need to make sure I'm clear on the front, up here. Don't hit anything. Okay, and that trailer back there is in my blind spot. That looks like I'm good. Oh crap. Turn the wheel the wrong way. Ease it in there, bring it around the other way. Okay, I might need to drive forward just a tad bit. Which is fine, because we're lined up. Awfully close to that box trailer right there. Really close, making me nervous. 
who want the airport to get mad for damaging the trailers. So let's do this slowly. Alright, looks like we're good there. We have plenty of room over there. way again. I'm getting really close to that trailer again. Ooh, this is complicated. And it's beginning to get into my blind spots. I might have to get out and look. Should I? Yeah, let's look. Ooh, I'm right up against it, right here. It's not even an inch of space between us. Meaning I should pull forward just a little. Adjust myself right to here. Okay, I'm getting really close again. Ooh, I'm right up against it again. Oh, I hit their little fence. Sorry. Sorry, Phoenix Airport. No, oh, wrong way, wrong way. That way. And let's get it as far in over here before the trailer. And then we should be good. I know it's in a blind spot now. Looks like we're good. We're clearing it, but I don't know I need to worry about that one. Whew! I barely missed it. Holy cow, I got lucky there. This looks like it's it, guys. This looks good. We are in between both trailers. And we are just about to... We are kind of close to the one on this side. But we have about a foot of space, so we're good. I don't know if they're going to take it like that, though. So we're going to have to pull forward one more time. Directly centered. And straight back in. Alright. No, oh, it's just. Right here. Alright, parking brake on. Engine off. Let's take a look over here. I'm really surprised I didn't hit any of those two trailers, any of those small box trailers, but uh, as you can tell, my backing in is getting a little better. That did take less than 10 minutes, a lot shorter than my usual time. Um, thank you for joining me. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more great content like this. And thanks for watching. Let's go ahead and detach our trailer, and I'll see you guys next time.